so, my so God, when you, you look guys, at it, this is mental. When you, the iPhone update. You know, yeah, I've, I've, I've already got it. I've been using the eye tracking feature where instead of like using your fingers like a commoner to use your phone, you just use your eyeballs. Hang on, what? Uh, What's going on? That's the same thing I said, what? Use your eyeballs to track you. But I ain't even gonna lie. Sometimes it seems like when I'm scrolling on my phone, before I even tap the app, it'll open up. Like it's already know what I'm about to open up. You just so look at the phone. This is like having a chip in your head. Here we go, I'm looking. What are you doing? Yeah, but hang on. It's calibrated tonight. Oh. Oh, that, and then, sorry. What, okay, so it's highlighting the app, but not opening it. Then how do you open it? <gasps> what did you do to do that? He blinked. He blinked. Hey, technology is advancing, man. It's getting real creepy out here. What's they gonna do next? Like before or after this, you ain't even gonna have to look to even scroll. That's insane. Did anyone ever think that was coming so soon? What y'all think about that, man? Technology to log into the TV now? What kind of data you stored in the TV where you gotta have to log in like that? But that will be nice for some kind of parental control. You might have your kids on punishment. Hey, no TV today. Ever heard of the Rife machine? Here's a quick primer. So back in the 1930s, scientist Royal Rife designed the Rife machine, a device he claimed could destroy harmful organisms using energy. More specifically, it emits frequencies that resonate with the frequency of harmful organisms or cells, causing them to vibrate and break apart. Today, Rife Machine users tout a variety of health benefits, from detoxification to pain relief. They even claim it can target conditions like cancer, Lyme disease, and more. But these claims lack research, making them controversial, and the FDA hasn't approved it. For some, that might mean steer clear. Well, for others, that might mean it's worth looking into. This isn't medical advice, and the information on this video is for educational purposes only. Contact your physician before trying any new technology, including the latest iPhone updates. After he invented this small frequency device, he immediately got sued by the American Medical Association. Look, the right frequency device faced legal battles and challenges from the medical establishment and the American Medical Association. Over here, we see it in action. As we know, sound frequencies has been used for sound healing, music therapy, ultrasound therapy. But family, what is the Rife machine and how can you activate its frequencies? Let's enroll in the course on my website. Rife's approach, known as resonance therapy, was based on the concept that each microorganism has a natural frequency at which it vibrates. You only need to touch it and hold it and you will get the frequencies through your body. We are talking about him, Royal Rife. And look family, Rife's most significant contribution to the medical science was the development of the Rife frequency device, also known as the Rife machine or beam ray machine. So there are two types of frequencies, one that you can listen and one that you can... Man, the frequencies out here, man, these waves, vibrations, like it's real important, man. You can do a lot of things with it that you underestimate it and they want us to underestimate it because they don't want just to get in the hands of the bad guy out here disintegrating people just from vibrations like that ain't wouldn't be cool but what you're seeing is terrence howard's working model of his virtual reality patent live in action made over nine years ago because this is when he posted it in 2015 he said that there's enough energy in here 1.21 gigawatts to be able to time travel back to 1955 now in this clip we have another one of Terrence Howard's inventions which he calls the linchpin as you can see right above me now this has a propulsion system that doesn't give off any heat or sound doesn't that sound familiar kind of like the UFOs that they describe of today and it can hey, they do move a little peculiar don't it even change directions and flip over without losing speed and disappear in the snap of a finger. Now, as you can see, some would call Terrence Howard's inventions futuristic, but I'm a firm believer that there's nothing new under the sun and anything you can think of has already been done. It's just that we are now remembering 
enter the new age, baby. New sun, we getting all of our information back. Shout out to my ancestors, because I know ancient technology when I see it. Leave in the comments below. Peace and one love. I do believe that. I believe it's nothing newer than the sun. I believe we doing this today. They did it a thousand years ago. It might look different, but had the same functions. Have you seen this video? The nine pillars of light were captured on camera. And this is what the government's not showing us. Just take a look at this. So this is the actual footage in Japan of when the nine pillars of light. But nobody knows what this light coming down from the sky is. What is it? What could this be? Yeah, I know they have frequency fire extinguishers that put fires out with frequencies. We're here to test out our, our device Pay that we use that uses sound frequencies to extinguish flames. Sound frequency extinguish. I, I see this device being applied to a lot of things. First off, I think in the kitchen, it can be on top of a stove top. Um, but eventually, I'd like to see this applied to maybe swarm robotics where it'd be attached that's the frequency we seen right there and that would be applied to forest fires or even building fires where you wouldn't want to sacrifice uh human life professor Bri Brian Mark the fire to help us just gave us a lot of support i think as a whole engineering is really just finding solutions to to comp you know finding simple solutions to complicated problems you know that everything is vibrations and frequencies right so somehow somebody tapped into the frequency of fire to put it out using a sound from a device which makes a sound device a fire extinguisher oh, you learn something new every day see is a device that can show you the vibration or the resonant qualities of anything from cells to fruits to the most basic forms of life the inventor, Mr. Reed, just did an experiment on blood cells, and I want to share his results. Every type of music that we experimented with created a fabulous result. The red blood cells that were counted in the musical environment were always many times more than they were in the quiet environment. It gets way crazier, but you need to know what the sound of the heart actually does to your blood, and I'm going to let him explain that. Every time there's a hard beat, that's actually a low frequency pulse of sound. It's very low frequency sound. And that sound is a mechanical pressure that causes the binding of the oxygen to the hemoglobin. Now DNA shares the same molecular shape as its frequency shape. Fractal resonance could be the key to genetics in general. Let me explain. This cymatic is a perfect fit. It has five-fold symmetry. If you freeze it at the highest amplitude, you see the five-pointed star. Let it go through a full cycle and freeze it at the lowest amplitude, it inverts the star. Cymatic images are a composition of those two images, creating something like this. You look at the molecular arrangement of DNA molecules, it aligns with the perfect fit in music. If you didn't understand that, I think I just found something about the moon landing that's a little fishy. In case you're new to following me, I've always had my suspicions that the moon landing might not have actually happened. But putting my opinions aside for a second, let's look at this. The cardboard box with aluminum foil that we're told landed on the moon. Specifically, the landing leg. Take a peek at that landing leg. Let's look a little closer. Look at that leg for a second, but that's not close enough. Let's look even closer. Do you see that? Do you see that? That looks like some kind of lid with gold aluminum foil on it. It definitely looks like a lid with gold aluminum foil on it. It only looks like aluminum foil, it looks like that plastic wrap. Plus, I don't think it can hold anything. Anything that weighs more than a couple of ounces. But let's look for something else. We're told this just landed on the moon. But there's no dust. There's no dust with no gravity on the moon and all that dust on the surface. How come no dust got on the lander? How come no dust got on the landing gear? Well, a skeptical yet simple explanation would be because it never landed on the moon. <laughs> but for the case of this video, my opinion is basically irrelevant because I want to know what you think. Do you think this cardboard box with aluminum foil legs actually landed on the moon? Let me know in the comment section, Booskies. Shabadoo! <laughs> Oh,
，好神奇哦！就是你看到在那个旁边那个光大。对。Look,、like, I really don't understand the reason why they did this. How everybody read up on this? Like, why did they use orange? I know it's some kind of significance in the colors and everything they do. Could they be real strategic when they doing this stuff? So let me know in the comments if y'all know anything about it. He's like he wanted to get taken down. Here's some morbid facts about rapper 50 Cent. 50 Cent's mother Sabrina had him when she was just 15 years old. Struggling to make ends meet as a single mother, Sabrina saw she had no choice but to turn to selling crack. She she had to turn to selling crack. See how he said that? Tragically died in a fire when 50 was only 8 years old, and he's always believed a rival dealer murdered her. Following in her footsteps, Jackson began dealing narcotics under his grandparents' noses when he turned 12. He frequently brought guns and drug money to school, getting caught and arrested for it in 10th grade. In 1994, 50 was arrested for selling 4 vials of cocaine to an undercover cop and was sentenced to three to nine years in prison after police raided his home and found various drugs and weapons. In May of 2000, 50 was attacked in a drive-by shooting outside his grandma's house in Queens. He was shot nine times at close range, but miraculously survived after a 13-day hospital stay. The alleged attacker, Daryl Homicide Bomb, who was Mike Tyson's close friend and bodyguard, was killed three weeks later. Is this psychological phenomenon called financial abstraction and it literally explains why it's so much easier for us to spend all our money apparently right. the more digital and electronic money becomes the less real it seems no longer and i really do see that because i can remember when debit cards first start coming popular i seen how easy it was to spend i'm like man you don't even notice that you're swiping this thing using cash is having a psychological effect have you ever had the thought that nowadays it just seems like we're playing a life-size version of monopoly have you ever felt like you were working to collect tokens almost like your whole life is just a video game it being harder to view money as real is due to financial abstraction when we no longer view money as real we spend it like we're in a game financial abstraction is a phenomenon that occurs when a currency becomes less concrete and physical and more abstract shifting from using physical things like cash to using more abstract things like Apple Pay, debit cards, cash app. This is doing a psychological number on us because we're not seeing our pile of money get smaller as we spend it anymore, which makes money seem less real and makes it much easier for us to spend. People in North Carolina spotted a pink dolphin. This is more evidence letting you know that something is changing in the ocean. Starting to believe that there is something inside of the water that's chasing all these fish to a different location. When you see this image right here in North Carolina, it is so rare. You can only see these pink dolphins in South America, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru. So the question is, how did it get in North Carolina? This is a dolphin brain and this is our brain. As you can see, it's much larger. They are smarter than us. So seeing this pink dolphin in North Carolina is no mistake. That dolphin is not lost. Something is chasing it away. I just watched a video showing a dolphin water bending. I had no idea dolphins can do this. Certain countries, they even let dolphins assist with pregnancy. They believe that the sounds and the frequencies that come from the dolphins can activate the baby in the womb. Videos that are letting the dolphins do that, and I seen like the dolphins start swimming in circles. It's crazy. So once the woman gave birth, the baby will come out with all kind of supernatural powers. Everything a dolphin can do, we can do. We just forgot how to do it. That's why they hate when we are close to dolphins. TikTok, I need your help. Some parallel universe shit just went down in my home. And usually when this stuff happens to me, if it does, rarely does, I usually talk myself out of it. I think that it's just my brain playing tricks on me. Onward!
Last night, I do my laundry. I put my clothes in the washer, and then I proceed to put my clothes from the washer into the dryer after they got done washing. As I'm transferring clothes from washer into dryer, I noticed that one of my hoodies had a string that was dangling and it got caught on a button from another shirt. So I had to unravel. This is a notable event because this is what makes this whole, this whole thing real for me. Unravel and disconnect, turn the hoodie inside out so it doesn't snag on anything else, put it in the dryer. This morning, I go to check the dryer to get my pants out for work. There's nothing in the dryer. No clothes. Maybe somebody took them out the dryer. Clothes are in the dryer. Open up the washer. All the clothes are in there. Still wet. Help me. I'll show you guys. You see this reflection? Mirror thing. Because I'm just working on your glass. You can also find a shiny reflection. Just sort of. just went into a whole nother world y'all think there's just a little trick or a little neat little editing trick he did or do y'all think that's actually real it's pretty cool Watch everybody about to start finding puddles with their phone. What the fuck? That's weird. Yeah. Is that a person? A room full of clams. And dolls. No, I'm cool. And that's, 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 a, that's, a, that's a person. That's a person. That's a person. That's a person. Look at what Mexico went through after they seen these dark ominous clouds in the sky y'all look at this this looks like a whole spaceship coming through y'all see that independence day type vibe here is another angle of it this is another it is a whole nother entity moving forward y'all look check this out y'all this is crazy this is intense this is on this is different different people taking pictures of what they experienced in mexico y'all see these type of clouds look this is crazy man i'm telling y'all this is the move like silver surfer when he was coming through and the big clouds that was following him right galactus this is it literally but check this out the hardest hit areas were chimal and tulum where the downpour led to significant flooding and widespread damage residents were caught off guard by the intensity of the storm which brought more rainfall than had been forecast in Shimal and bro i told y'all man when y'all see those clouds man something is going to go down something up is coming down tell you the truth literally oh my goodness this looks even worse than miami y'all this looks even worse than miami has experienced wow y'all see that plasma y'all see that plasma look and that car just stalled out it's done it's done yeah like i don't understand that that's crazy yeah that whole car submerged this is crazy man this dragon is causing a lot of things to be <laughs> remember the dragon is waking up y'all so this is displacing water throughout the earth too mm -hmm. this is displacing water throughout the earth wow that's a lot of water personally ain't never been no flood like that and i don't want to experience one look at that hole like submerged now we know why some marines exist for real for real Revelation gems, a cool pattern in the trumpets, a really easy way to understand the book, and a cool code in understanding Yahweh, how what he did on the days of creation ties into things in the trumpets and the bowls. The key to understanding the entire book of Revelation is the scroll. Referenced in chapter 5, verse 4, there's a mysterious scroll that there's only one person worthy to open. Once this scroll starts being popped open, which is held down by seven seals, which you can imagine unrolling like a spiral helix Walter Russell DNA table, 
as one series of event unrolls and leads to the next, from the seals, to the trumpets, to the bolts. Three sets of seven, all based on the pattern of creation. With a final capstone at the end, making it 22 to resemble the completion of the Hebrew alphabet, Aleph to Tav. Which Psalm 19 is also laid out in the same way, Aleph to Tav, which there's a cool tie-in, Yeshua's last song plug, on my page. Also interesting in the language of unrolling the scroll is how the firmament is described to unroll like a scroll, and the end times in the book of Revelation. Quick pattern in the trumpets. All the trumpets are based on thirds, which we'll come back to in a second. There's a really cool pattern in code. If you look at the fourth day of creation, what God made, the sun, the moon, and the stars. Then if you also look at the fourth trumpet, and even the fourth bowl, you'll see how those two judgments also have to do with what he did on the fourth day of creation. They both involve the sun, moon, and stars. Something happening. Does this pattern reflect anywhere else? It does, but only once on the number six. On the sixth day of creation, God made mankind. And you'll see on the sixth trumpet and the sixth bowl, how both of those judgments have to do with mankind. So why is it only those two that match this pattern? Many layers of code, especially the closer you get to the Holy Spirit. But it's possible that they both reflect each other. The story of the sun, moon, and stars reflect the story of mankind. This is even referenced in Genesis in the Bible through Jacob's dream, other places in the Word, and in the story of the Maseroth in general, which you can also find on my page, Esoteric Secrets Playlist. As you can see in this chart of the trumpets which angels blow, which are really shofars by the way, they all have to do with a third, except for the fifth one. Why? Well, for one, a third is also a reference to the fallen angels. A third of the stars were swept out of the sky by the tail of the dragon. Which is ironic, because this one-third percentage, 33.3, 33 degree mason, the remainder of that left would be 0. .666, you know, 666, the mark of the beast. Funny how all of these numbers tie in. So why not the third on trumpet five? Well, I'm speculating, it's because a whole third of these fallen angels are released. Look at what happens on the fifth trumpet. It's the bottomless pit army being released. Sure. Which I've covered on my page before. And what do they do as soon as they're released? They torment humanity. Thanks for freeing us, bro. This is immediately followed by four fallen angels being released from underneath the Euphrates River. The 200 million man army with lion headed horsemen. With serpent tails with faces that strike. Sounds like a very specific type of dragon. One more quick cool gem, then I'm out. On the sixth trumpet, you'll see a third of humanity perish. Before, on the fourth seal, you'll notice 25% have perished. So if you do the math, that's about 58%, which is over half, about 4 billion, just between those two judgments alone. So with the other 42% or so left, most of them don't repent. They're still worshipping demons and idols, sorcery, sexual immorality, murders, stealing. Sounds like a super witchcraft, Mad Max, Book of Eli type of environment. Or some places that survive might be some sort of sophisticated breakaway civilizations, like places in Dubai, Neom, or a sophisticated Sodom and Gomorrah-like Aldous Huxley New World brave new world type of environment or elite underground bunkers which they'll definitely be begging on them to collapse later anyway eternal precepts are never in need of change unlike culture that always swears at the precipice of intelligence an intellect that is always changing truth never changes and the truth will set you free See